meeting the need as families recover from Hurricane Adalia. I'm Terry Gilliam in the Steenhatchee neighborhood in Taylor County, a place where the food insecurity issue is great with their only food pantry flooded by the storm. Heartbroken, cried, oh no, not again. Heartbroken, a feeling felt by many the morning Hurricane Adalia made landfall in Taylor County on August 30th. One of the areas to see the most damage, the neighborhood of Steenhatchee, where Cherry Campbell runs the now flooded sewers of the Seed Food Pantry, creating yet another barrier for families dealing with food insecurity. Everybody has been very good at coming together. Coming together to figure out how to get the doors back up. Right now, the Second Harvest is stepping up to help feed families. Since the storm hit, Second Harvest says it's distributed 1.1 million pounds of food to families in locally impacted communities. That breaks down to just over 900,000 meals, with Taylor County receiving more than 151 pounds of food alone. We're going to sell the property, put it into a higher dryer piece of property. Uh, so we need a buyer. As Campbell looks for a new place to reopen the pantry, Feeding America President Claire Babino Fontano is in town to get a closer look at the challenges this community faces. There are people still in this community in need of help, so our plan is to stay here until the hope is gone, and until the need is gone, and that's what we do all the time. The organization works through the second harvest, making sure that food gets to those communities that need it the most. Support that Campbell is thankful for during such a challenging time. I look forward to seeing what God has up his sleeve. If you're sitting at home and want to address the food insecurity issues here, there are two ways you can help. You can make a donation directly to Second Harvest, or you can sign up as a volunteer at a distribution site. In the Seenhatchee neighborhood, Terry Gilliam, ABC 27.